All right, you've probably heard about the scandal between the National Enquirer and Jeff Bezos. Bezos published emails between him and an Enquirer executive that he claims proves that they were trying to blackmail and extort him in exchange for not publishing racy private photos. Stu, is this how they operate? Is this how they generally operated? They would get some sort of juicy morsel, either a racy photo or a tip, and they would call the person or email the person and basically threaten, we're going to run with this unless you do something. Which SOP, you know, standard operating procedure. Now, I haven't been there in 12 years, but even then... Beat them to the punch. He then published. What do people normally do when they get a call like that from the National They cave. We're on the same page. Here's what they sent, okay? They said, with the Washington Post, blackmail and the attorney for uh, David Pecker, for AMI, has a different definition for it. So here is how he explained it this right. weekend. Listen to this. So how is this not blackmail? Well, th that's the question. Because the, the question is, is publishing or... One more question to you. So the Southern District of New York, as you know, had this cooperation right. deal with AMI, mm -hmm. with the National Enquirer, um, because about all the payments to the various women who have said that they had affairs with Donald Trump. So does this the revelation of this affect that cooperation for him for years. Is he worried today? I don't think he's worried. I think he's really confident. About this time, Jeff Bezos has beaten them at their own game in terms of going public with embarrassing details before they could. Well, sort of. I mean, certainly about the pictures. Mm -hmm. um, he has very deep pockets. He's the richest man, you know, on earth. So is this time different for the National I think it is in that they didn't anticipate his... Possible, Stu, that the National Enquirer goes out of business as a result of this? I don't think. Jeffrey Tubin, thank you thank both you. very much. John.